Oh my god, do I love fall. I love the changing colors of the leaves. I love the cooler but not too cold weather. And of course, this might make me a basic witch, but I love pumpkin spice everything. One of my favorite things about fall is decorating. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable fall wreath um, to add some cozy fall vibes into your home. First of all, let's go over what comes in your Take and Make craft kit that you have hopefully picked up from your local library. Should have come with a cardboard wreath cutout, some twine, some leaves, some flowers, some cranberries. That's what we're gonna decorate the wreath with. You will also need some scissors, some glue, I'm using Elmer's glue. You can use really any type of glue. Um, hot glue gun, Mod Podge, craft glue, whatever you have on hand. You might also wanna include some additional uh, decorative materials that you may have around the house. For example, you could use acorns, bells, glitter, pumpkins, squash, wheat, etc. Okay, let's get started. I am just going to tie the twine um, anywhere on the cardboard wreath. And I am going to double knot it just like that. And I am going to cut off the excess of the twine right here. And now we are going to start our winding. So I'm gonna leave about two feet of slack. If you have too much slack, it's just gonna be unmanageable and confusing. If you don't have enough slack, it's just gonna be uncomfortable. So I'm going to start winding the twine over and under the cardboard wreath. So I'm kind of keeping my finger here to keep it tightly on there. And I'm just keeping the ball of twine in my right hand and bringing it through the hole. And I'm just gonna keep going over and under and keeping these kind of tightly close together. I don't want too much of that cardboard to come through. Going over, under, bringing the ball through. And yeah, so we're just gonna do that over the entire circumference of the circle. Okay, I am back. So I wrapped one of my little balls of twine around the wreath. Since I divided them up into four little balls, I'm going to attach the next one. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So here is my second ball of twine. And I'm gonna grab each of the ends. And put them next to each other. And then I'm going to wrap them around my fingers just like that and pull the ends through. Just like that. And I'm gonna cut off the excess. And I'm gonna pull on each of the sides to make the knot tight. And then I am just gonna keep on going with my winding. Um, so uh, you might be able to see the little knot I just made, but I'm okay with that. I think it looks cool, but you can also just tuck it in the back as well. So, I'm gonna keep going and I'll come back. And I have wound all the twine around the circle. Okay, I did it. So as you can see, 
I wrap the twine around the full circle and now I'm just gonna tie it off. So I cut off just enough twine to kind of finish it off. I'm gonna wrap it around the circle a couple more times. And then I'm going to lift the last loop that I just wound around the circle. And then I'm going to bring this end through. And then kind of pulled this loop up a little bit. And I'm going to bring the end back through again. And double knot it. I'm kind of pushing the knot to the back so you can't see it. And then you can kind of adjust the twine to make it the way you want it to kind of cover up as much as that cardboard as you can. And then you can just cut off, um, cut off the rest of the twine. Okay, now is the fun part. So now we're gonna start decorating. So I've already laid out how I wanted to decorate my wreath. I haven't glued anything down yet. Um, I was thinking because of my last wreath is a little more minimalist that I am gonna go crazy with this one. So this is what my idea is for how I want it to look. And now I'm gonna start gluing everything down. Okay, so I'm going to put down a piece of holly. I think I called it cranberries earlier, but it is holly. And I'm going to put some of my Elmer's glue, or kind of a lot of my Elmer's glue, onto the leaf, just like that. And now, just gonna press it down really good and hold it. You can add more glue where you think you need it. Press it down. And I'm going to add another leaf. Put it under it. Press it down. And you can kind of stick these in if you wanted to. Just underneath everything. And I like to still kind of glue it down. Make sure it's pretty reinforced. Add 
adding another leaf. Add a little more glue to my gold leaf. Kind of press it down a little bit. Uh, so now I'm going to put a heavy book over it. I think that'll help it get it glued down. And I'm just going to let it sit there for a few minutes. And then I'll come back and do the rest of it. So I just had the heavy book trying to keep my leaves down, but it still wasn't doing a good job at holding down my little flower. So what I ended up doing was I just took off the green part of it and cut off a little bit more of that little stem. And then I'm just going to glue around here. I think that's gonna work better. Okay, so I glued on the rest of the decorations that I wanted to add. Um, that taking off the stem of the flower worked really well. Um, what I did for this flower was I cut off the little metal stem that it was on and then I folded it kind of at the bottom to make sure um, that it was secure and then I glued the uh, leaves down. So now, I'm going to put the heavy book on it again and wait a few minutes and well, hopefully everything will be all good and secure. Okay, here's the finished product hanging up on my door. I think it looks pretty cute. I also wanted to add that it makes a pretty cute centerpiece as well.